intro for an epic day. So last time I was here, I was driving a truck for the very first time in my life. So today, I've come prepared for my first day as a truck driver. Now I've been told that MEN have a lot of new features for the upcoming year that I am gonna have the exclusive chance to test and see together with my very own MAN expert, Martin. Let's take a look at how MAN can support the driver. Hey, Martin, nice to see you. Hey, Joshua, nice to meet you and welcome back on the test track. Yeah, I'm very excited to be back and have my very first day as a truck driver. So what are we going to do first? Are we going to jump straight into the truck and go? First, it's important to make a technical checkup. There's a whole bundle of checks you need to do. Therefore, I recommend the MAN driver app, where we have a detailed checklist for the walk around before we leave. Uh -huh. We can have a look on the model year 24 news first, if you like. Yeah, sure. Okay, so then let's go. So one of the news, Joshua, is the reversing camera that you can see here. With this, the driver cannot overlook pedestrians, for example, when he is maneuvering. Okay, so that's really good for safety. Exactly. And it's only one of several new features that are mandatory to fulfill the legal requirements that we need to have for registrations from July 24 onwards. Okay. Another one is here the side radar, which enables the turn support in turning situations. Okay, so that's important. Yes, very important, yeah. And here, the 520, they give us a good hint for the new model year, respectively the new engine, the new 13-liter engine. So several parts have been updated and software, and now it delivers more power whilst consuming less fuel. Right. So in figures, it's plus 10 horsepower, plus 50 newton meters, and 3.3% less fuel consumption. Hey. Yes, and together with the updated hypoid axle, some aerodynamical updates, and the efficient cruise predictive drive, it sums up to almost 6% less fuel consumption compared to the previous model year. Wow, I mean, that may sound like a small number, but 6% actually over a period of time will add up to quite a lot of fuel consumption that you can save. Yes, that's right. Okay, right, well, shall we go? Okay, let's jump in. Hey, and uh, I want to know what routines that you have before you set off on a journey. So just let us know by writing them into the comments. Let's go. Go. Wow, I forgot how much information and how many uh, knobs and buttons there are when you're sat in one of these trucks. Yeah, that's true. But um, there's a little bit of help now available with the new model year. So for instance, if you insert the driver card here, all the displays are automatically set to, in your case, English. Ah, oh, that's really helpful. That's why it's all in English now. Yes, yes, <laughs> exactly. Another one that is important here uh, is the interface for the ICO interlock, which is uh, now mandatory to have XWorks. Right, okay. The another one that makes life easier, so to speak, is the uh, advanced driver assistance systems button here over there. Can you push it? So as you can see here, you enter into the submenus from the driver assistance systems. For instance, the efficiency menu or the lane guidance menu, where you can switch on or off the MN Cruise Assist or whatever you like. So this one button, you enter into all the submenus that have been before in several buttons in the dashboard. We want to check the tire pressure. Would you like to do it on your own? Yeah, yeah, sure. We can do that just from here, from the seat. Yes, exactly. You can check tire pressure and temperature. You enter the menu here. Okay. Exactly, and here it is. Here we go. So we can see the tire pressure is all at 8.0 for all the tires. That's good, right? That's, that's okay. So everything's uh, easy and at your fingertips. Yes, uh, and I think now everything is set and all right. And now I give you your first task for the day. Yes, what is it? It's hitching a trailer. Would you like to try it? Like a big trailer? Yes. Oh, isn't that difficult? 
Well, don't worry. With my help and the new technology with the sensors, I think you will do it. Okay, I feel like I'm in good hands. Okay. All right, so stick around if you want to watch me hitch a trailer for the first time in the capable hands over here. Um, but while we drive over there, why don't you check out one of our most important features, which is the front detection for cyclists and pedestrians. See you in just a bit. Perfect, Joshua. I think we reached now the perfect position to start the hitching process. Yeah, let's get going, eh? Yes, and I explain you what we do now. What I checked already for you is that the physical coupling lock is open. Okay. And the trailer is parked safe. Great. Good. And now we want to do the first three steps. Uh, step one is that you reverse for the first time, like half a meter. Okay. Okay. Like uh, until the fifth three coupling is here in front of the kingpin. Then I give you the signal to uh, increase the height of the truck until it gets contact to the trailer. Okay. Okay. And then you reverse a second time until the kingpin is locked into the fifth three coupling and you get the green signal. Great. Okay. Okay. And the third step of the exercise is that you push a uh, short time forward that we see that the connection truck trailer is good. Good. Yeah. Any questions? So I'm going to be in there alone. Yes. Do you trust me? Yes, for sure. I trust you. Okay, you let's do go it. then, shall we? Good. <laughs> okay, now, safety first. Are you ready, Joshua? I am ready. Then let's start. Go very slow, reverse. Okay, stop. Good. Now, go out. Okay. More, more. I've got the yellow, the yellow sign now. Yeah. And now push forward. Okay. That's okay, switch up. Great. Yay! <laughs> hey, Josh, you hey. really did it. Amazing, amazingly good. Hey, not too bad, eh? Yes, look at it. <laughs> Perfectly coupled. Cool. Perfect. Cool. Yes. So now there are some uh, minor steps remaining. Okay. Like the cabling, but still important, and the support legs and the wheel shocks and so on. Okay. Shall we do the rest? Well, why not? Let's finish the job. Okay. Good. <laughs> My favorite color. Don't worry about your clothes. Okay, Joshua, now that we have finished the hitching process, I would like to show you what we have uh, used on aerodynamic measurements. So first we have here the extensions of the side flaps. Huh? Uh, the material is uh, flexible, this is special here, and at the roof spoilers as well. So okay. this closes the gap here between truck and trailer to a minimum, and the airflow can go by. Yeah, very good. Here we closed the gap between door extension and bumper, so that the airflow is again very smooth here. Yeah. And last but not least, we have here cladding from the A-pillars. Again, that the airflow can go past here by, very good. And together with the mirror wings, it returns into 1.1% fuel reduction. Wow. Yeah. So I mean, are really trying to make it as efficient as possible. Yes, that's the idea. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, I think we've worked really hard. So I think we deserve now a lunch break. You're right. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. Let's Good. go. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed that sweet treat I brought for you from, uh, from the UK. Yeah, they tasted really good. Thanks again. Yeah, and it sounds like there's so many new features um, that MAM have introduced to support the driver. Are there any more that we've missed today? Well, the first one is the traffic sign recognition system, and the source is the video camera and the map data behind. So it tells the driver how fast he can drive. It's displayed in the instrument panel. And as soon as he's faster, he gets a warning. Okay. So this is the first and the second thing is the distance warning system. So as soon as he's too close to the next uh, vehicle, he gets a warning and then he can release the speed and has at the end more reaction time for uh, unforeseen situations, for example. 
the whole truck is now secured against cyber attacks, which is very, well, that very is good. important. Yeah, yeah in, in, in our days. And yeah, last but not least, we have an update on the efficient cruise, which has now a so-called predictive drive. It's uh, especially for the uphill gradients parts. Um, it includes the dynamic torque reduction and it starts already at 30 kilometers per hour. So this is also uh, a contribution to the fuel efficiency. Oh, that's really important. That's right. I think it's about time that we get this load to its destination, don't you think? Yes, I think we should do it. So I start with some security checks. Uh, like yes. Light tests and braking tests. Yes. And you follow me? Yeah, sure. I'll okay. be right behind you. Good. Well, it's been great to see today all the new features which MAN have introduced so they can support the driver. Okay, now I really have to go. But in the meantime, like the video, subscribe, and leave a comment if you like. Coming! You did it!